welcome and welcome back to the channel guys real quick real quick now guys most of you guys know or you are aware that we are still in the peak winter season right at least we're supposed to be here where i'm at um it's probably 60 or 70 degrees well oh uh, still get cars uh my lady friend called me her little avenger or 200 this can go either way but this diagnostic applied to any freaking car okay any car it doesn't have to be dodge chrysler jeep or ram all right now the complaint is uh the heat is not as hot as it should be okay let's put it in full heat let's turn the ac off uh and she's right okay i don't know man when it's cold they really want scorching heat coming out now diagnosing heaters is a uh, not difficult okay or well, diagnosing your heater operation not that difficult at least duplicating it is not <laughs> simple you turn it on and see if you're getting hot air coming out of the the vents and from where i sit or stand now there is not now last time she was in a while back and my buddy topped off the fluid okay because as you know low cooling level low fluid level would cause no heat the heater core is dependent, oh guys. It got has to have it has to be full. It has to be um, the cooling system has to be on point. Remember, guys, there's three parts to a heater or AC operation. Oh, you have the plumbing side, you have the distribution side, and the controls. Okay, uh, well, the control controls those two sides. So you need to determine if your problem is. From a plumbing end, meaning everything outside, or water pump is pushing. Remember, guys, water pump has to be working properly. It is needed to circulate the coolant. That water pump has to pump. It pumps, okay? If the coolant is not circulating throughout the engine as well as the heater core, then your heater will never work. And also keep in mind, your heater has to be, or the coolant system has to be free of air pockets, okay? Remember, guys, air creates space. You don't need space in the cooling system. Okay, so if you determine that the plumbing side is on point, basically, in a nutshell, what I do is grab both heater hoses. If they are extremely hot, then yeah, the plumbing side is doing its job. That's when you come inside to verify if it's a distribution problem. What I mean by distribution, guys, every AC unit going to have what we call a blend door. Blend door uh, will move based on input from the customer or input from the driver okay if he want hot just say if i put this in full hot right now it's halfway so that door should be halfway if i put this in full heat the door should go full heat which will allow that hot air to come out of the vents that's the job of the mold door mold door operation i got it in face vent right now so in hot coming out of vent uh i should get extremely hot heat okay remember we just verified that we haven't but we just verified the plumbing issue okay so now but keep in mind if the plumbing is not uh running the way it's supposed to you have to fix that part first i'm just talking hypotheticals right now so full cold that blow mid blend door should go full cold if that blend door is not following instructions yes you could have a distribution problem you may need a blend door actuator or a blend door itself faulty all right, but let's do this, guys. I'm going to take a break. When we're going to get back, we're going to be outside. We're going to verify. Let's do some verification. Let's see if the plumbing side on point. So I'm going to put this on full heat, face, and high. We're going to go outside and see if my plumbing. Let's, let's check the temperature of the heater hose. All right. Uh, let me take a break. I'll be right back. Ah, a little 2.4 dual VVT engine. All right. So, hey, good good thing is a four-cylinder. These heater holes are easily accessible. Here they are right here. All right, so I have cooling in my reservoir, but that don't mean anything. This is fairly hot. Uh, the thermostat open. Remember, guys, the thermostat is right here. If it opens up, that hot cooling will come out through here, go back to the radiator, and the vicious cycle starts over again. But for now, let's verify. Uh, inlet is hot. Inlet meaning it's coming from the intake, likely. The outlet, oh, it's cooler than the intake, guys. 
okay that could be a, some form of restriction all right yes if one is cooler or warmer than the other you could have a restriction if they both hot like i say you should suspect uh distribution problems all right now i'm gonna try some guys uh, i'm gonna try to flush out i'm gonna take these hoses off and put some solution in there and try to flush and make sure it's not restricted guys Come on, I'll take y'all along with me, guys. Let's go over to a water hose. I need a water hose. All right, let's get it. Alrighty guys, I have the restriction removed. If there was any restriction, it is no longer a restriction in the heater coil. I got it properly bled, no air pockets. Let's see what we got. I'm in full heat. Um, as this car warms up, that heater should get extremely hot. As you can see, we still in the sea a little bit, but it's hot right now, guys. Yes, I want to say this is a successful repair, guys. It's all about restrictions, guys, and it don't take much to restrict a heater core okay normally i would see a big glob of stuff come out of it when i reverse flush it y'all saw how i was reverse flushing it i was removing my supply water to the opposite side and flush it out that way both ways either way and uh i was able to remove any kind of particles or restriction that there was guys this heater is scorching hot that is all i have guys uh this quick way to uh, now keep in mind, this heater core is easily to get to, or the nipples to the heater core, okay? A lot of them are hard uh, to gain access to. So, depends on the car you're working on, but this happened to be an easy one. And my, ooh, that is hot. All right, guys, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching, man. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next video.